Allah is all knowing, Allah seeing. I'm Anad. Al Alim Al Basir. Say right voice, please. Al Alim Al Basir. A Karan Harun from the Brits. Allah is all knowing. Allah knows what is in the heavens. He knows the secrets and what is more deeply hidden. He knows what is in our hearts. He is the creator. How should he not know? Karan. He knows what is in the seven heavens and what is between them and what is beneath them. He knows what is beneath the surface of the land. He knows what is in the depths of the oceans. He knows the point of growth of every tree and every tree that grows. It means Allah knows everything. Everywhere, on a time, every second, Allah knows subhanahu wa ta'ala. I hear from there, uh, He knows the place where every leaf it will fall and all the grain of sands. He knows the weights of all the mountains. He knows the measure of all the ocean. He knows actions of his servants and the secrets, thoughts. Some people, they think if they go deep, deep ocean, Allah not see them. SubhanAllah. Allah can see everywhere. Yes, he, on, uh, he knows the breaths, the breaths they breathe and the words they speak. He knows everything. Nothing of this is hidden from him. Uh, very good. Nothing had it from Subhanahu wa Taala. Yeah. From there, Harun Bris. Allah knows what is in our hearts. He knows our secrets. Allah knows what we do in the day. He knows what we do at night. Allah's knowledge covers everything. Continue, Harun. Allah is all seeing. He sees the things we do. Allah sees His servants. He sees the things they do. He is aware of everything. Well done. Very good. Now we're reading this is story which is giving us some idea um, and a story about man and his children. He tests them and some of them, they fail and some of them, they pass the exam. Then only how can he breathe loudly? One morning, Grandfather Salman called his four grandchildren over. He gave them each a day and all asked them to eat it where no one would be able to see them. After half an hour, they returned. He asked them one by one, if they had found a good hiding place to eat their dates. All except Ahmed said no. Someone said he had eaten behind a sofa, the other behind a curtain, and the other under the bed. My grandfather asked Ahmed why he had not eaten a date. He said he could not find any place where he could find where he could hide from Allah. Grandfather was pleased with Ahmed. He gave him another date to enjoy. Yeah, and they go <laughs> behind the door and they ate. But Ahmed said no, because he knows Allah can see him all the time and everywhere. Then number one, Harun Bliss. See that question? There is no point of hiding it as Allah sees it. question first, please. Where would you have hidden to eat the date? Uh -huh. The most answer. Ahmed didn't hide it because Allah sees everything. Yes, nobody hides from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number two, read uh, uh, how Ahmed did not eat his date. Why? Mm -hmm. Because he believed there wasn't any place he could eat it that Allah wouldn't see. Yeah. He realized if you go everywhere, Allah knows, then you keep. Mm -hmm. And number three, how do this? What do you learn about Allah from the story? Mm -hmm. He knows everything and he sees everything. Yeah. So he started giving us a clear idea yeah, yeah. to know. Even if you try to do bad thing, remember Allah can see subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you try to lie, say Allah, Allah can see me subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? If you try to cheat someone, say no, Allah can see me. I can't cheat anyone. Okay? Uh, number one again, fill the blanks. Uh Hamad Bliss. Allah knows what's in our hearts. Yeah. Even if you think something, Allah knows. Allah knows even Millions years later, everything coming, everything going, Allah knows subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, number two, uh, Harum is 
He know he knows all the grains of sand. Well done, good. And last one for Hanab, please. Nothing is hidden from him. From Allah, I mean, subhanahu wa ta'ala. No. Number four. Chapter four. The first one, this one, Harum, please. Iman, the faith of a Muslim. This one for Hanab, please. Al-Iman. Iman. Meaning, Iman is Arabic and faith, the most uh, uh, for English. But there's two words similar to close, Iman and Imam. Imam is a leader. Who leads the prayer, for example? That's Imam. And mm -hmm. Iman is a faith, belief in. Then don't mix both. That two words, see. inshallah. Carry on from there. Haram, please. Iman is an Arabic word. It means faith. Faith means complete trust in someone. It means if you have faith in someone, you believe in him with all your heart and you do not have any doubt about it. Doubt and faith are two opposite things. If you have doubt in someone, something, you believe that it might not be true. Iman is a state in which the heart accepts the truth and lives by it. The lips and the tongue declare the truth and the limbs carry out what is requir required of the truth. Faith, Iman is light, doubt is darkness. Well done. Then if, you, if some the person has a little doubt, Allah exists in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, power and Allah is not Muslim. We ask someone, do you believe Allah exists? And he said, yes, 99 percentage. Now we said, see, we're not, you're not yet Muslim yet. You have to make complete 100 percentage without doubt, without doubt. Then if you have little doubt, still you have no faith, you don't believe Allah. To believe in Allah, you have to have 100 percentage. Okay. Number one, then we're saying Muslim has faith, faith means Iman, in number one, Harun and Harun, please. One. One, Allah. Harun? Two, his angels. Anab? Three, his books. Mm -hmm. Four, his messengers. Five, the day of judgment. Six, divine destiny in the truth that everything good or bad comes from Allah. Yeah, everything happened to you, bad or good. Decide by Allah. There is no nothing by Bas Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah knows everything. Is that clear? Yes, that means you have to don't uh, uh, say why do that, why, why, why is not allowed to say why. If it happens to you, say alhamdulillah. But it does not mean to do something bad and say Allah decided no. Because you have free will. You can do and you can stop. Therefore, you know we're not like animal. Allah gave us subhanahu wa ta'ala free will. To, 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 to obey Allah and to, to disobey. Allah love who, who obey him. Allah don't like the people who disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, someone if you say, I'm not brain, why? Because Allah decided, that's haram, that's not allow. <laughs> that's very bad, very bad excuse. Then we talk about something happened to you. Ah, if you come rich, Allah gave you subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't say, oh, my power, I get rich, no. <laughs> and if you come poor, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided. Now the question time. Then, number one, for Hanad Bilis. Iman is an Arabic word. It means faith. Faith. To believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, Harun Bilis. Faith means complete trust in someone. Number three. Iman is light. Doubt is darkness. Number four, Bilis Harun. The lips and the tongue declare the truth. Yes, because when you say, when you, you have to declare to say shahada in Arabic or English or whatever you said, if the person said, I believe in Allah and his messenger, that automatically is Muslim, automatically is Muslim. Even if you say English, you say, I believe in one God and his message, messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, come in Muslim. Then, and also you have to believe insight, not only uh, uh, to say by lips and insight is different. That's hypocrite. That's not, that's not allowed. Okay, number five. Harun Blitz. A Muslim has faith in the day of judgment. Harun, number six. Now, and faith are two opposite things. Harun. Everything good or bad comes from Allah. Uh -huh. Harun. The limbs carry out what is required of the truth. The limbs, okay. Limbs. Well done, that's good. Then next time we start in five, inshallah and try to read more more you read yes, more you learn inshallah yes and until next lesson we're saying wassalamu alaikum 
ورحمة الله وبركاته